So here's the Groovy timeline. Groovy was born uh, in August 2003. So it's over four years now. Four years. Yeah. You know, that project <laughs> since, well, I've been, well, I didn't invent the project. I didn't create it, but I came um, in the following weeks after it's been announced. And um, I started looking at it because I, I had a need for uh, scripting language to embed in uh, an application uh, I was working on. And at that time, you know, Jython, JRB, Binchel were mostly dead. Um, there, there was no activity around all those languages. And back in August, in September 2003, there was this little project called Groovy, yeah, with a name, you know. <laughs> and um, it looks promising. It's it's got this, you know, Java feeling that I like because I don't want to learn just a brand new language. I just want to integrate that into my Java application. So I wanted to have, you know, a Java feel. And well, I already said that Binshell wasn't very actively developed. So no, I wasn't really interested in Binshell. I, I wanted something else. And uh, I started to look at it, and um, I downloaded it. I even built the, the first uh, CVS versions. And I started using it a bit, uh, playing, and oh shit, there's some bugs. Okay, I'm going to, yeah, it's, you know, it's open source. I can look at the source code. Okay, let's see what's under, uh, under the hood. Um, oh, but it's obvious, there's a bug there. Okay, uh, well, it's open source, I can contribute. Give a little patch to fix this problem, and um, th the project was run by some English and American guys, and they didn't really care about things like internationalization, you know, I18M, and um, there were some bugs with with filing codings. And as I'm French, I do care about you know those letters with things <laughs> above them, you know, accents. Yeah, uh, there are many accents in in French. Um, <laughs> And well, when I was printing something, you know, you, you wouldn't see the accents, and there were some ugly characters. Oh, what's the, what's that? Okay, so I looked into the code. I, I fixed some bugs. I, I contributed those bugs back um, to to the project lead, and I started using Groovy more and more, and f feeling more Jira issues, giving many more patches, and at the end the project lead at the, at the time, that was Jim Stracker, very famous for other um, contributions in the open source ecosystem. And he was fed up with me feeling so many bugs, and he had to review all those patches and apply them. He was really fed up with me, so he gave me commit rights. Cool. <laughs> so this is how it all started for me. And um, at the end of uh, 2003, we already had some first betas. They were still pretty buggy, but it was fun. Then in 2004, many more betas. Uh, the quality uh, was improving a little, especially thanks to my patches, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and, but not only, obviously. And uh, I organized uh, with my friend Jeremy Rayner, who was at the back of the room, uh, the first Groovy Developer Conference. So we, we all met in London uh, in 2004 um, for thinking about the, the roadmap of the language of the project, how we would run it. And then in 2005, it was like, uh, you know, a bit, the, a bit like the black spot in the Groovy story. Um, the Groovy lead left the project, went working on another <coughs> cool open source project. And somehow the, the project was a bit dying. And that's at that point that I took the lead. And um, well, I hope I did pretty good job, <laughs> or else you probably wouldn't be there, and there wouldn't probably be um, a web framework called, what is it called, Brains, isn't it? Yeah. And um, we organized uh, a second Groovy Developer Conference, you know, to, to shake things, to, to be sure that we got on track and that we started to, to make things uh, evolve again and, um, you know, to get a groovy feeling. 
And then um, we released the first um, JSR versions. We had many betas, beta 1, 3, 2, 4, 5, 6, and then we had some JSR versions, uh, which uh, were versions which were a bit different um, from the previous versions uh, with uh, many decisions that got implemented after our Groovy developer conferences. And then 2006, a pretty nice year, where we released the first release <coughs> candidates, yet another Groovy developer conference, and in the, in, the, in the first days of January, we managed to release the first 1.0 release of Groovy. So it's been a pretty big achievement for us. And uh, 2007, what a nice year. Um, we got a, an award. I'm going to speak about it in a, in a few slides. Um, and it's also an important year for us because we created a Groovy and Rails company. I'm also going to tell you a bit more in a couple of slides. And uh, just before Rails Exchange, we had our fourth Groovy developer conference. So that's it for the timeline. And just before Grails Exchange, just for your pleasure, <laughs> we decided to release 1.1 Release Candidate 1 of Groovy. So we're pretty close to releasing 1.1. It should be there uh, next month, actually. And, you know, I did the logo. It looked <laughs> nice. <laughs> 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 so G2, um, G2 one, like Groovy, Grails, or some guys have said it was Graham Guillaume or Guillaume Graham. But <laughs> really, it's about grooving grail. It's a nice coincidence that uh, we've got two G's in our first names. But well, so G21 as one source of expertise for grooving grails. Um, it's a brand new company that we just started and announced uh, a week ago or two weeks ago. And um, we are going to um, provide companies with uh, professional services around grooving rails, training, support, consulting. We will also be delivering some commercial plugins, connectors uh, for rails, potentially other uh, products as well. So if you're interested in having some good experts in the field help you on your projects, don't hesitate. I'll be happy to, to give you uh, one of those nice business cards if you want to contact <laughs> us. Don't, don't hesitate to come and speak to us.